Welcome back to Boston Pilots. Let's play some more Europa League as Alice 4. We're of course playing as uh, no longer Mannhaus, but Schwabia. We are going for the everything that's coming up. Mannhaus achievement. We have to take, still not take, become Emperor of the HRE and uh, fully decentralize it. We are essentially able now to swap from being a republic to being a monarchy, which is the first step we need to uh, actually be elected emperor. And then we just need to be nice to all the people. Um, we've been waiting on this because we have been in a bigger war and we currently have a 10% morale bonus from our government that we're going to lose as soon as we swap over to a monarchy. So we wanted to keep that around. But that was over. We're technically in a war, but this war is, well, also over. There's 4,000 enemies left. The 10% morale are not going to matter in any way, shape or form. The question is... Except from the fact where those 4,000 enemies are, 4,000 Hungarians, um, whether there's any use to staying in the thing a bit longer to keep benefits. I quickly checked with the um, monarchy government reforms on the wiki and it did seem to me as if there's anything that immediately demands a switch. Yes, we want to get rid of that minus 40% max absolutism, but if I'm not mistaken, we still have a bit to go uh, until our current max. So that's not hurting us. And the reforms, the first monarchy reforms are not that great. Don't really do much for us. So there might be an argument for staying. On the other hand, the earlier we switch, the earlier we can start uh, getting to get elected. And uh, should the current emperor die, then uh, that would be more important. We might miss out on an election there. So that would be sad. Um, what would be really bad to lose here? I think it's mostly um, the sortition government reform with their 0.1 corruption reduction. We do have some corruption we're paying off, but we have money. We could just pay money for it. That's fine. We have 9,000 ducks just lying around, so that's not a big problem. And the rest really doesn't matter too much. What we do have is a decent leader. I believe. Sure, a bit of a sinner, but <laughs> sinner and tolerant. That's uh, the focus on mill, which is really not super important right now. Honestly, I don't even know if we lose him or if he just turns into a monarch. But even if we lose him, he's not that great. I really would like more admin points, so I wouldn't even mind losing him here. So I think we can swap. And that's going to do a few things. We're going to lose our parliament, I'm pretty sure. We're going to get the nobility estate back, I'm pretty sure, <laughs> because we're losing parliament. Mm, don't eat super like either one, but I guess it's going to have to be okay. One thing that's a bit weird to me is that we lost crown land again. I assume we took land with over a certain cap of um, autonomy, and that's why we have a reduction crown land. But that's, it is what it is. I'm not going to wait for these guys to go up to 50 and click this button before we before we swap. I don't think there's a point to that. So I'm not going to do it. I think I can just, just change. I feel like just changing. Now, is there anything on here that I should be afraid of? Uh, blah, blah, blah. Republic isn't accept as well, but we need a strong ruler. Yep, we do. Uh, we need to seize that executive power. Uh, we lose 500 progress, of course, that's what it costs. We lose seven reforms. So I still assume that all of these will be revoked and we're going to have points for taking three new ones. Uh, I don't think anything else would make sense. And that's it. Could become a theocracy. Oh, and these ones are just, you stay in Republic, just you get better stuff. This is nice. We can't do it. We have to get out of Republic so we can be elected Emperor for our achievement. But these are not bad. 25 extra almost removes that negative. Yeah, it's cool. But yeah, let's go Monarchy here. Seize executive power. Yoink. Yeah. And we did get, um, well, we didn't get points. We just get three free reforms, I guess. We're now a monarchy. We lost a bunch of crown lands. So the thing I was afraid of actually happened. The nobility sort of kept their um, part of the crown land in 
by um, by gone. So the percentage we had before was just off the existing estates, we own all the land. But now the nobility get land back. That is very bad. Because we have to click this button five or six times now to get back to 100% land. But, you know, it's going to be what it's going to be. Now, it's luckily it takes the land proportional to the amount of land they have. So um, we take most of the land from the nobles as we need to. Mm. A bit weird. It's going to be that we lose loyalty on all the states, even though we're not taking anything away from the burghers and the clergy. That's not going to be fun. And we're going to have a hard time getting to high loyalty on our estates because we had to revoke all those um, privileges. So it's, it's going to be some work to get back to 100% crown land here, but we're, we're going to work on that. Now, this is done. That's great. And we do have that summon the diet button again. That's kind of nice. That will help a bit. But first, government reforms. Income from vassals and nobility influence or 10% reduced unjustified, unjustified demands. This is almost irrelevant. I really don't care about noble influence. I don't care much about vassal income. Does it say here how much we get from vassals? 1.45 ducats. If I get 5 what 25% on top of that, that's still nothing. It's like 0.35 ducats or something. Don't care. This is a tiny bit of dip. Which is also not great. But I guess it's slightly better. Because monarch points are better than money. A tiny bit of monarch points is better than a tiny bit of money. I guess. So let's go with autocracy. And then we can get manpower or taxes. Once again, not a lot of hoots are given here. Because we have all the manpower and all the money. Fifteen percent is decent, but we already have so many. Oh, that's manpower recovery speed. How many modifiers do we have to actual manpower? Twenty plus fifty from Leve and Mars. Leve, yeah. So we'd only get a tiny bonus. More like ten percent than twenty percent. So that's pretty bad. Oh, it's not even 15, so it's more like 7%. Yeah, I'm going to take the taxes, even though it's almost nothing. And then bureaucracy, autonomy change, or max promoted cultures. We've not been needing promoted cultures very much. Because the land is kind of split. Most of our land is Schwabian, and there's Rhenish and Burgundian, but then it kind of goes down. That might change. The Swiss is going to increase. Bavarian is going to come in bigger at some point. We already have. I don't need max promoted cultures. Definitely not now. We can switch government reforms more easily now. So I'm going to go for the autonomy change. I'm going to go and set my routing of corruption. So we get rid of that filthy corruption there. We're of course going to continue in this war, although that's mostly there to hide our coring of the land we took down here in Switzerland. And then what? We'll start with 50 legitimacy, okay. We might want to buy that up a bit. We're very high on monarch points as military monarch points anyway. And I believe we're far away from tech. Very far away from tech. And buying legitimacy also gives us absolutism. It's kind of cheap right now. I think we definitely want to do this a few times. Okay, 10 legitimacy, that's actually quite a bit. Yeah, I'm gonna buy my way all the way up to 90, I think. Seems good. And then, and then, and then, and then. Yeah, we state ruler, all right. So it's just that our former syndic now ceased absolute power. I definitely want primacy of the nobility at some point. The fact that it costs 10 crown land is a bit of a pain. A bit of a pain, I must say. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Mm, let's just continue. I think we've done all the things. I'm just trying to remember if there's anything else that the Republican 
government reform, or the Republican form prevented us from doing that we can now do. But I don't think there is. Wouldn't know what it would be. Yeah, all right. How is our government thing about capacity? We're over capacity now. Is that from our war in Milan, or did we have a government capacity bonus from the Republic that I forgot about? I don't think we did. But maybe. It's not a big impact. But it's there. I don't like it. Alright. Uh, unpause. Uh, power and rain, yeah, military access. One siege of Salzburg. Control Gel. I have way too many people sitting down Hungary. Why? Who knows? It's a level 1 fort. Um, let's have this be better. Gonna leave the 5 infantry just in case the Hungarian 5 stack shows up. Never mind though. Siege it down. I could vassalize you, but I don't actually wanna. I don't think. I mean, I keep vassalizing random people, but nah, probably not though. I'm gonna take your war reps. I'm gonna take your. I don't care about any of that. Oh, how are we doing? Prestige? Pretty good. Um, yeah, I mean, trade power. You're not in it. Into it. How do I not have 10% war score? Wait, who just caught good control? That's not me. Oh. Whatever. I guess we're not getting anything out of Hungary because they got caught in that other war. Let's stay around here, though, with the 10 stack. It's possible that Bohemia does not take Hungary in that piece. And then we might have to see it done again. Yeah, see? That's exactly what I thought would happen. We may accept a piece, uh, renounce claims, just pay war reps. And then now the trees with Austria. So now we can go back. Unfortunately, we missed the monthly ticks, so they got some reinforcements on their garrison. But. Still not a lot. I forget how exactly garrison works. I don't think the number of troops in the garrison has any impact on the siege speed if it's above zero. I think any number above zero is fine. It would just make assaulting the fort much easier now. I think that's how that works. It might just be wrong. We got it in one take anyway, so that's cool. Now, once again, trade power, war reps, steal me your trade. No, it's fine. I don't need that. Give me your 25 ducats, sure. Get out of here. Over here. I just need to take, make sure not to piece out Salzburg just yet. That would be a mistake. Uh, let's get rid of those heretics in Würzburg for sure. What do we do to our people? Now we're a monarchy now. We might have more in issues with stability than we had earlier as a republic. Because now when our rulers die, we actually... Um, We lose stability. As a republic, you do not do that. So there's a chance that we want to keep our monarch points for um, for that case, right? This is a bad stack. I'm going to do some swapping around in a minute. So we can spend, not our monarch points, our paper influence points. So we can use those to buy back stab when we need to. It's possible. Um, I wonder if we feed Salzburg to buy a varia too. No, we can't. Not without declaring another war, because then the emperor would ask for it back. Hmm. How's my AE looking? I don't think it's too bad. I mean, some people care. Mainz is not happy. Brunswick is close to not happy. Aachen is not happy. Okay, maybe we did aggressively expand a bit. Must have been that taking of Milan, Austria, yeah. So we probably should not declare another war unless it's a reconquest. 
And I believe Munster still has a core on Holland. And Holland is actually pretty big. 27,000 people. No friends. Not guaranteed by anybody. So we could take... Ah, but... The problem is not... <laughs> I uh, confuse myself, as I do. Um, the problem with uh, taking Salzburg was not that... Uh, then I would have to do the other war, but the real problem is the... Aggressive expansion it would cause. And the coalitions that would come out of it, right? If I were to do this... A lot of people would care. And that wouldn't change if I gave it to Bavaria. So, we're just going to peace out for in Bayern. And hand that over to the Bavarians. Because it is their core. And then we're going to be at peace for a while. And we'll be happy about it. Somewhat. Sure. But we have to wait for our course. Now, what's with this? 33, 2 and 13. Oh, that sounds perfect. <laughs> What is our combat with? 32. So we're over combat with, and you have 13 cannons, which is just a weird number. Then over here, I have five more cannons. Let's make this combat with 32. Same for you. And then get it to 10 cannons each. And sort of have um, identical 42 stacks there. And then we could consider turning you into a nice 42 stack as well. We have the manpower, we should have the force limit. Easy, yeah. And the money is obviously not a problem. Even if we're paying 37 ducats for <laughs> rooting out corruption right now. Uh, you have one more cannon than the others, but I guess that's fine. Um, I don't think I'm gonna buy the... I could buy calf, I guess. I mean, sure. It's not like we don't have money, right? You do this. We're gonna be 32 with, well, plus, yeah, 32 with one more cannon, that's fine. And then we have three pretty powerful combat stacks. Also, we're swimming in dip. Two everlasting friendship. I mean, ooh, that's an air. Heinrich. Hello, Heinrich. Nice to meet you. 10 pips. Good, good. Consort, and uh, I won't be able to convert Zundgau for a while. Now, is Zundgau a filthy heretic? Is the question. They're not. Good. So that's all fun. Don't any change, not a problem. We have lots of negatives there, I think. Should still be taking down. Um, no. Just even. But even is good. Even at war means it's going to be taken down at peace by 0.1, and that's a lot. Ragusa no longer is doing trade to me. I mean, it's their funeral. Those estates. I'm probably going to go ahead and annoy the clergy once we're at peace, so I can start taking back land. Do the... Call the diet and then grab Crownland. That's the course, all of the course, yes. Double check, no overextension. So now we can piece out you. I'm gonna get in Bayern to Bavaria, reconquest, cause essentially no aggressive expansion. And you can transfer your trade power and your war reps and your money. And I mean, I might as well grab some prestige. Just so we're back at 100. Sure. Now, we should have a look at the Empire, right? Because we're now a monarchy, people could vote for us. And Tria, for some awkward, weird reason, is already voting for me. Bohemia is voting for themselves, which is just not okay. Um, 
How's this? Get people with a high score. I'm at 181. I don't think... Okay, they will back themselves as long as they're backed by somebody else anyway. But they don't, right? They have the backing of another elector. But they're the only ones backing themselves. Obviously, it would be really nice to take it away from Austria and Milan. So Brunswick, the Pope, Brandenburg, Brunswick, how's you doing? You hate me a bit for reasons. Could start throwing alliances around. Can't just vassalize an elector, apparently. What a shame. Now, there's a chance Brunswick doesn't exist after this anymore. They're currently completely under control of um, Saxony. Probably be released again? Hmm. Maybe not the first target. Uh, who else was I saying? Is a good target? The Pope and Brandenburg. Now, the Pope should already like me quite a bit, and they do. Let's improve them a bit more. And I'll probably ally them. How are my relations? Do I need to eat the meat to feed? I have no access through Bohemia, which I don't need, but otherwise we kind of need to get rid of our vassals, eh? Um, yeah, give me a diplomat and the military access through the Bohemians. I will marry the Bavarians, even at the cost of legitimacy, assuming they're not too old. 58? It's pretty old. But again, I'm probably going to eat them anyway. Let's marry him. I think we're gonna have to go and eat the electors. Ah, eat the, the subjects. Now that will generate unhappiness with the um, Empire people. They don't like when you uh, annex such uh, princes. The question is how ready are we to annex? Would be Bavaria. It would be silly. And it could be Münster, although Münster still has a core that we kinda wanna retake, doesn't it? Won't be Trier, we still need that elector on our side. Maybe quickly go and punch Holland. Oh you're yeah, added to Great Britain now. Makes it less interesting. Assuming that um, they would come in. <laughs> They're actually pretty close to not coming in. Only minus 20 because they love me. Heretic religion. I'm gonna go ahead and buffer you up a bit. I don't think that changes anything though. I think it's only the attitude, not the actual opinion. Mary City, minus 5? No. I don't want to minus 5. Oh, we're getting all the marriages now because before we couldn't marry. That makes sense. Um, I do want that Atman. Definitely not get not gonna give the Burgers any land. I think is they're gonna be peeved from this, so maybe we should go before we um, don't allow the to be bought. We should go and ask everybody for some land. Let's call the diet. Yeah, it's gonna also peeve the Burgers by just a tiny bit. Oh well, we can beat up some rebels. It's fine. Um. What do you want, guys? You want me to take Goslar? I mean, who am I to say no to take land? Uh, where the hell is Goslar? Be somewhere over here, right? Goslar. It's a Saxon province, allied to pretty much nobody. So we could go and take it. Aggressive expansion allowing. Uh, convert faults, which I want to do anyway, and I can do once the farm estate is built, I believe. I don't think they have stuff anymore, so that's going to be very easy and something I'm going to do anyway. 
What do we get? Conversion zeal. Oh, we get cheaper missionary maintenance while we're doing it. Not that that matters, but kind of nice. Gain the skill 3 Inquisitor for half. Ooh. Heck yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a diet I like. Uh, let's quickly check the burgers if they have something nice too, but gain a base production outspoke. Yeah, no. Let's do this one here. Um, there's still gonna be some unrest here. Let's just do it, I think. Seize that land. Yeah, yeah, so let's smell it. Um, please get into there. I'm gonna force my. Yeah, it costs some mill. I'm gonna force March into Constance just to make sure that this doesn't. So they're just Catholic zealots. It's actually funny. Because. I thought it would be rebels of the of the estates, which would then cause crown land issues and stuff, but these shouldn't. Still gonna try to kill them as fast as possible, but yeah. And then I'm gonna gain that admin power and make the burgers even more unhappy. It'll have to be fine. Pop them Catholics. I mean, I do like Catholics now, but um, yeah, not in this case. Now about eating the subjects. Are you all happy enough? Could the next year you would be done in 32? Holy fudge nuggets, that's a lot of time. Um, May 32. Münster. It's not possible yet, even. And city would be much faster. I don't know if the modifier the next member the Empire. Wait, did I just lose all my claims here? At once. I don't know if the Empire Prince annexation thing is stacks up. So if they get even more unhappy if I annex more princes, probably does. But what can you do? Uh, I could buy dip, but 90% ahead of time, that does not sound like a fan. Definitely check building things. That is a decent manufactory. You're a fine manufacturer. Put these just because I have the money. No, no. Um. Yes, that's one workshop. Uh, Rish. No. Faults. Why can I not convert you? Am I dumb? Oh, he's still busy, I guess. 99.9%, fine. That's the reason. Um, spent dip on, I guess, more development. Anywhere cheap. Malhouse, we know. Brigens. Brigens. Essentially, no autonomy. That's nice. Uh, development. Get a bunch of dip on that. Ah, it's that's why I didn't like it. It's a garbage place. But hey, just be good. Why don't you? Speaking of, did we have any big changes on? Could accept Franconian culture if we wanted to. Seventy-five development is not nothing. We have the dip, and we have the slots. Is this H1 where we get the multicultural thing going? We do. I don't know that that's a reason, but... Okay, why not? Convert facts, definitely. And... I guess spend some time at peace here. I really would like to swap some of these people around. Let's go ahead and improve the Bohemians. Ah, they're almost fully improved upon, but still. 
probably gonna need to make a bunch of alliances to be elected. But in order to that to do that, we kind of want to eat our friends first. I really wish I had another rival. Still gonna give it some time. We're not yet under 50 PP. I really don't want to lose the French alliance if I don't have to. Seems like a dumb idea. But we're gonna have to keep this an eye on this. We're gonna lose all these eclipse things, and then we're gonna be below. Yeah, we can do insults and stuff for a while, but it's not gonna fix everything. Oh, we died already. Now Sieglinde, our wife, is ruling. Who unfortunately has I mean she has good points, they're just in the wrong spot. We would need her to focus on admin. We're gonna get a new admin guy soon, once our missionary is done. And then I'm gonna to swap to a level 3 guy here so we can have a bit of an easier time taking ideas. And Zeke Linden at least does have idea cost reduction. So I hope that will be okay. I'm not gonna buy up to 3 star because that I've discussed this before in this campaign. Um, there are a bunch of events that give you free stability. And if we have 3 star, we miss out on those. Alright. Come on from the Bohemians, uh, have a quick look at Holland, and then probably put a cut in here. Yeah, we're kind of going to have to. Uh, but uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Glad for the seeing. As always, please do hit that like button, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet, and anything you want to say to me, it's just great in that comment section. Thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time.